Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. In this channel, we will share you useful and reliable information about pregnancy and parenting. In today's video, we're going to talk about some of the signs that may indicate that your baby is not healthy in the womb and what you can do if you notice any of these signs. But before we start, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our latest videos. Let's get started. Pregnancy is a wonderful and exciting time, but it can also be stressful and worrying, especially if you are concerned about your baby's well-being. That's why it is important to be aware of the signs of a healthy and unhealthy baby in the womb and to seek medical help if you have any doubts or questions. First, let's talk about some of the signs of a healthy baby in the womb. These include 1. Movement A baby starts moving after five months of conception, the first fetal movement is called quickening. A six-month fetus responds to sound through movement. Around the seventh month, the fetus reacts to stimuli, such as light, sound, or pain. By the eighth month, a baby starts changing her position and kicks more frequently. All these are signs that your unborn baby is healthy. 2. Normal growth. There are several ways to measure the growth and development of a fetus. Your doctor will perform an ultrasound to keep track of your baby's health and development. Generally, a fetus grows by 2 inches every month, so your baby should be 14 inches long by the 7th month. In the third trimester, a healthy fetus grows heavier by 700 grams every week. Generally, by the ninth month, a fetus weighs about 3 kilograms and is 18 to 20 inches long. All these are signs of a healthy fetus in the womb. 3. Heartbeat a baby's heart starts to beat at around the fifth week of pregnancy and can be detected in a TVS scan by six weeks. However, its detection is a lot easier towards the end of the first trimester through electronic fetal monitoring. To confirm your baby's heart health, your doctor may conduct a non-stress test. This test monitors the heart rate of a fetus and provides insight into potential threats, if any. Alternatively, some doctors may even count the heartbeat by just touching your stomach. A healthy heartbeat ranges between 110 to 160 beats per minute. 4. Position at the time of pre-labor. During the ninth month, the movement of a baby comes to an end or becomes minimal. The baby settles into a head-down position, ready for delivery. This is called the cephalic presentation. If the baby is in a breech position, meaning the feet or buttocks are facing down, it may indicate a problem with the baby's development or the placenta. In such cases, your doctor may try to turn the baby manually or suggest a cesarean section. Now, let's look at some of the signs of an unhealthy baby in the womb. These include 1. Decreased movement. If you notice that your baby is moving less than usual or not at all, it may be a sign of distress or lack of oxygen. You should monitor your baby's movements daily, especially in the third trimester, and count the number of kicks or movements in an hour. If you feel less than 10 movements in two hours, you should call your doctor or midwife immediately. They may ask you to come in for a checkup or an ultrasound to see if your baby is okay. 2. Abnormal growth. If your baby is growing too slowly or too fast, it may indicate a problem with the placenta, the umbilical cord, or the baby's chromosomes. A condition called intrauterine growth restriction, IUGR, occurs when the baby does not receive enough nutrients or oxygen from the placenta and is smaller than expected for the gestational age. This can increase the risk of complications, such as low birth weight, premature birth, stillbirth, or birth defects. A condition called macrosomia occurs when the baby is larger than normal for the gestational age. This can be caused by maternal diabetes, obesity, or genetic factors. This can increase the risk of complications, such as shoulder dystocia, birth injuries, or cesarean section. 3. Variations in heartbeat. If your baby's heartbeat is too fast, too slow, or irregular, it may indicate a problem with the baby's heart or nervous system. Some of the causes of abnormal heartbeat include infections, anemia, congenital heart defects, or cord compression. Your doctor may use a device called a fetal Doppler or a fetal monitor to listen to your baby's heartbeat and check for any abnormalities. If they find any, they may refer you to a specialist for further tests and treatment.
Four, bleeding or leaking of fluid. If you experience any vaginal bleeding or spotting during pregnancy, you should contact your doctor or midwife as soon as possible. Bleeding can have many causes, such as implantation, cervical irritation, infection, or placental problems. Some of the serious conditions that can cause bleeding include miscarriage, ectopic pregnancy, placenta previa, or placental abruption. These can threaten the life of both the mother and the baby. Similarly, if you notice any leaking of fluid from your vagina, you should seek medical help immediately. This could mean that your water has broken prematurely or that you have a tear in the amniotic sac. This can increase the risk of infection, preterm labor, or cord prolapse. If you notice any of these signs of an unhealthy baby in the womb, you should not panic, but you should act quickly and get medical help. Your doctor or midwife will examine you and your baby and perform the necessary tests and scans to determine the cause and severity of the problem. They will also advise you on the best course of action and treatment options. Depending on the situation, they may suggest some of the following interventions. 1. Medications. Your doctor may prescribe some medications to treat the underlying cause of the problem, such as antibiotics for infections, steroids for lung development, or blood thinners for clotting disorders. They may also give you some medications to prevent preterm labor, such as tocolytics or progesterone. 2. Bed rest. Your doctor may advise you to rest in bed or limit your physical activity to reduce the stress on your baby and the placenta. This may help improve the blood flow and oxygen delivery to your baby and prevent further complications. However, bed rest is not recommended for everyone and may have some side effects, such as muscle loss, bone loss, or depression. You should follow your doctor's instructions and ask them about the benefits and risks of bed rest for your specific case. 3. Monitoring your doctor may suggest that you monitor your baby's movements and heartbeat at home or in the hospital. This may help detect any signs of distress or deterioration in your baby's condition and allow for timely intervention. You may be asked to use a device called a kick counter or a fetal monitor to record your baby's movements and heartbeat. You may also be asked to come in for regular checkups or ultrasounds to measure your baby's growth and development. 4. Delivery if your baby's condition is critical or does not improve with other treatments, your doctor may decide to deliver your baby early, either by inducing labor or by performing a cesarean section. This may be done to save the life of your baby or to prevent further damage to your baby's organs or brain. The timing and mode of delivery will depend on your baby's gestational age, weight, and health status, as well as your own health and preferences. Your doctor will explain the benefits and risks of early delivery and help you make an informed decision. We hope this video has helped you understand some of the signs of a healthy and unhealthy baby in the womb and what you can do if you notice any of these signs. Remember, pregnancy is a unique and individual experience, and not every sign or symptom means the same thing for every woman or every baby. The best way to ensure a healthy pregnancy and a healthy baby is to follow your doctor's or midwife's advice, attend your prenatal appointments, eat a balanced diet, stay hydrated, exercise moderately, avoid smoking, alcohol, and drugs, and take your prenatal vitamins. If you have any concerns or questions, do not hesitate to contact your doctor or midwife. They are there to support you and your baby throughout this journey. We hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and take care.